all my people you just watched the story i just watched the video rather yeah of um how ohani chief uh aziofi chukwe mecca you know spoke about how arrogant david was you know david brought people to kill his own people that's what he did his own people you know and everybody's quiet and pretending that all is well what sort of a nation or country are we in you see and uh, this is what the man is saying that everybody must act and work well please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe let's get all the details i read of how david umayi brought people who killed his own people chief Chukwe Mecca Eziofi revealed. Former governor of Anambra State, Chukwe Mecca Eziofi, has revealed that he has read stories of how Governor David Umaye, the governor of Ebony State, who is better known as David Umaye, brought people to his to his own state to kill his own people. The former governor, Chief Chukwe Mecca Eziofi, made this revelation during an interview with Arise TV. During the interview, Chief Chikwe Mecca Eziofi told people about Peter Obi chances of winning in the forthcoming presidential election. He said that it is, it is over for the ruling of Progressive Congress APC and the People Democratic Party PDP, saying Peter Obi can rule Nigeria effectively. When he was asked how Peter Obi will win the vote of South Easterners conspiring, considering Governor David Umayi assured that the votes of the good people of Ebony State belongs to Bola Tinubu, and if Ohanie Zezendubo will formally endorse him, why answering the question, Chief Chikwe Mecca Eziofi said that although the Igbos have internal problem, but Governor David Umayi is the is his personal friend, adding that he brings rice to him every Christmas. He said that despite being a governor and a chairman of Eastern governors, David Omai went ahead to go against the interests of his people. Chukwe Mecca Eziofu said that he had already he had read many stories of how the governor of Ebony State, David Omai, brought in people who killed his own people. He promised to go to him personally and appeal to him to make a different statement to what he has said about the vote of Ebony people belonging to Chibola Tinubu. He added that when David Umayi made the above statement, he was speaking for himself and he must withdraw its fate, adding that David Umayi's position cannot help Nigeria. You can watch, you can watch and see how things are turning okay how things are turning in this country it is important that everybody begin to pay serious consideration you know to what is going on right now you know it was this same man who said uh you know he cannot uh i mean they, uh, peter b cannot be nigerian's president oh no peter b cannot be nigerian's president uh i don't understand like i mean chief uh said brothers fighting themselves and like he said i mean and i bought into that honestly let nigerians go and pray so that we can have the right leaders let nigerians go and pray i know i know on this platform some people have said madam now pray and i they help america and the uk that one different no? america and uk not get where they confess say now they use your mama now they make you not go to school you get admission they come make you get accident you don't hear that confession for america and uk and the country where they confess so they say when you are in Rome, you behave like a Roman. When you are in this, you behave like that. You don't allow. You don't allow things, okay? What is going on? You don't compare yourself. In fact, comparing yourself, you are not wise. Because person where we say in lifespan, now 40 years and now 30 years already, that person a very old person. You get only 10 years more to live. Why person will be saying lifespan, now 100 years, and he has just lived 40 years. Now very young person. So you comparing yourself to be quite candid, you are not wise because you know, you don't have all the variables. You don't have it. You don't have it. So he was speaking for himself to be quite candid. He was speaking for himself and not the entirety of the Igbo people. However, you must not take it with a pinch of salt. It goes to say that the house is divided 
And what happened to any house that is divided? It cannot stand. It's not, a, it's not a, somebody trying to castigate. That's, the, that's what it is. When a house is divided, listen, that house self-destruct from within. Whatever the issue is, yes, it's painful. It has happened. Move on. Look at it. Talk about it. Forgive and move on. That's the only way forward. You see? So looking at the whole thing, David coming to tell everybody, ah, no, our vote belongs to Tinubu. I mean, he has a right, in case you are wondering, he has a right to say that. And listen, it is his opinion. It is David's personal opinion. And nobody should castigate him for it. If he does not believe that the Igbos can actually produce a precedent, okay, that the Igbos can actually produce someone who can, you know, who has wisdom, okay, and one of their sons who could possibly turn the fortunes of Nigeria around as a nation, then too bad. But that you will go on and say, you know, uh, uh, the, the Igbos are totally rude. At no, 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 you can't, you can't do that. You'll be making, you'll be, you know, you're making a huge mistake, a very huge one at that. You're making a very huge mistake. So the first time, you know, to have, to have, you know, like, like if you listen to the, to the interview, Joseph said, Nigerians and Igbo, the mistake started in 1962 or 52, he said. You know, when they started seeing themselves as, you know, different entities, instead of seeing themselves as one. Instead of seeing themselves as one, as one people. And seeing themselves as one people, speaking with one voice, speaking with one purpose, you know, speaking with one purpose. So it, it's really, it's really very painful to be quite candid that these things are happening. It's truly sincerely very painful and why we must all, you know, not stand in the place of uh, regret and say, oh, things have not worked up until now. It's okay. It, it, it's okay. And then we're going to be making a huge and a difference going on from here so that we can truly you know come out with transformation and ensure that things are quite different you know the nigeria that we are in today get ready your pvc get ready to vote as if that is not enough move further go further apart from getting the the vote the pvc you must do more you and i must do more okay you and i must do more so it is what it is. Leave us a comment. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a lovely day. Have a fantastic one. Bye for now.